This is the Iowa Weather Report for Friday, November 15th, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero-Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have a trough digging in through the Intermountain West with some energy along it. A little bit of energy across the Mid-South as well. We have pretty much a westerly flow at this rate and with southerly winds aloft. We'll have temperatures likely in the upper 40s north to 50s everywhere else. Me uh, moisture will be coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Could sp bring a shower south of here and then into the state here late tonight into Saturday. The, uh, it looks to be fairly light at this point, maybe becoming a little more moderate by Saturday night. Highs still in the 50s, but then it starts to cool off on Sunday. We could see early day highs from about the mid-40s northwest to maybe near 60 south and east. As the rain moves out, it may end as a little bit of a wintry mix on Sunday evening in the northwestern half of the state. But Monday, it's much colder. Highs back into the maybe low 40s, maybe some upper 30s. Lake effect snow in the lakes as the system moves up into Canada. And the cold air looks to be entrained here even on Tuesday. But the winds will start to turn around to the south late in the day. Temperatures will still likely be in the 40s for most of the state here on Tuesday with mainly sunny skies. Warm front comes through here Wednesday, could kick off a shower with highs still running in the about 43 to maybe 52 range from northeast to south and west with a few more clouds around. And then the next system comes barreling in from the west here on Thursday with a cold front. Low pressure center way up to our north near about Churchill, Manitoba. This will bring mainly rain to the state, but then it may end as a bit of snow late Thursday. And then you can see here by uh, next Friday, you can see we have the system moving off to the east. We have pretty much a flow coming mainly out of the west and northwest. And that means we'll have high pressure kind of moving pretty progressively. We'll have it overhead maybe lows in the near 20 to 26 with any rain or any precipitation off to our south. Going into the extended period, here's November 26th. We have pretty much a broad trough over pretty much about mm, the western two-thirds of the country. Some energy in the plains also across the north and west, but it's going to be fairly cold for the next several days if this extended period is right with maybe rain and more mainly snow here on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving this may extend into Thanksgiving and even Black Friday and then at the end of the forecast on November 30th which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving it still looks fairly cold Fit broad trough over the entire country at this point a 1048 millibar high situated near Edmonton and it's just dumping the cold weather everywhere but the desert southwest and the Intermountain West. So it's going to get rather cold and maybe rather snowy. Satellite image from last evening. We had some clouds, high and middle-level clouds off to our south with a few sprinkles there. Some clouds off to our west with the system that will be coming through maybe uh, later in the weekend. Looking at the watch morning map from last evening, we had some winter weather issues in southwestern Colorado, some wind advisories in Arizona and Southern California, and some winter weather issues in the Northern Rockies and the Cascades. When we take a look at the QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Tuesday e evening at 6 o'clock, showing uh, the precipitation will be the heaviest over the eastern counties of the state, where they could see up to three quarters to an inch, with lighter amounts to the west.